Congratulations! Well, thank you. Can you show us your amazing medal? I could uh, like to try, but if it falls out on the floor... I want to know, is, is this gold? Let's see, how's this go? Oh, we don't even know how to open it. There we go. Wow, that's I'm beautiful. There you go. So you received this medal because yes. you like to restore and keep the, I don't know, history? Well, the, 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 the discipline of sound for motion pictures, particularly in preservation, has been a, really an overlooked science and art, I think. And uh, Rick Chase, who was the founder of Chase Productions, was a really passionate guy about the importance of sound. Uh, which is something that he instilled in all of us that got a chance to work with him. And, uh, and so we were able to really take that, um, that passion of his and bring it forward into the industry at a time when sound became really important when uh, the catalog titles of all the, mov the movie studios, all the classic motion pictures, uh, got a, a new life for home video and distribution uh, in DVD, and now streaming, and, and back in the days, VHS. And suddenly there was a, a real need to, to make these things sound not, not better than they were, but as good as they were on the day when they were made. Because the technicians, even back in the very, very beginning, they were brilliant. And the kind of work they did was absolutely, uh, I'm still astounded by what they were able to accomplish not even four years after they had begun to um, to invent sound for motion pictures. Uh, you have a movie like King Kong, and you have a guy like Murray Spivak who's inventing sound design, you know, for, the, for, for King Kong, just, you know, four years after they've just invented a technology. So the art and the craftsmanship is something that we, we really wanted to preserve uh, and to cherish and to really present to people so they could understand that old movies didn't sound old, they sounded terrific. They were just made a long time ago. And that's, that's really the case. What it was it for you to give him this award? Well, this is very special for me because, uh, as I mentioned in the speech, I, I had actually known Rick before. And uh, he and I shared a lot of passions about audio and technology and preservation. And so then when I met Bob and he was carrying on the tradition, we were just peas in a pod, you know. And so I'm... and, and I'm an audio engineer and you know I'm very passionate about audio as well and so I'm just completely honored to be able to give Bob this award. Very How do we invite uh, younger generations to be involved in this field? Like how can you tell young kids that audio is an amazing field? Well I must say that uh, you know I've worked with Bob and and his company for the better part of three decades now and, you know, there's always a focus on restoration on the image quality, and often the audio is overlooked, meaning it's, it's not that it's not important, but it's, it's, kind of, it's almost an afterthought for a lot of people, but it is a primary part of the uh, restoration work. And I did not know Rick Chase, but I must say that when Bob assumed the presidency of the company he really took the company to another level in terms of its uh, passion and its uh, uh, the, the, the foremost focus on audio restoration for motion pictures and grew the company into one of the the, the, the world's best companies for this kind of work yeah. as for younger audiences I think that uh, we're always trying to encourage younger uh, uh, technicians and archivists and film restorers to get involved. And I think that the example that Bob and his company has shown is one of the things that for them to look forward to. And the pay is great, right? The pay is great. <laughs> the rewards are wonderful because... No, so, no, so we can always <laughs> argue over the cost of things. That's always, a, that's always very easy. Here, here's, here's, here's what I would say to, to younger technicians and engineers and it's what I told people who would come to our company I would say working we're more of a, a technical company we're a very high technical aesthetic uh, we're not creating the movie we're just trying to make it as good as it was the day it was made and I would say to the engineers I'd say you know at Chase you're not going to win an Academy Award but you'll work on every movie 
that got an Academy Award. Yeah. And, 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 to, and to the engineers who find that aesthetic great, uh, this, this, this was their Academy Award, was being able to restore those movies. And then we used to have uh, really a great time. The Academy we had a, uh, Academy Gold uh, uh, standard screenings, and we'd get to screen the restored movies, the restored image and sound in front of an audience in the Goldwyn Theater with a thousand people. And they would enjoy this movie every bit as much or more than the day that it first came out in the mov movies. And that was probably the best experience we would ever have. That was a lot. And of the fun. pay is great. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>